can listen to the extended version of this week's episode of The Village People by subscribing to patreon.com slash tvppod. That's patreon.com slash tvppod. Thank you. So this morning I was taking my iconic morning shit and I guess because of the water leaking out of the toilet, the trash can is sitting in the tub. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I look to my right, Tangie is in the trash can in the tub. Of course. She's in the trash can every chance she can, every, every chance she can get, that was hard. Tangie's in the trash can every, every chance, chance she can get. Every tan she gets, mm. yes. Every tan. tard bit, any any tard ginge, My little can tinge. she change. New nickname, Tinge. Not new. Um, just and then and she just, just hop out of the trash can into the tub. Mm-hmm. Hop into the trash can from the tub. Just it's a uh, game for her. Mm-hmm. Go. Life is like a video game, trying hard to beat the stage. No. Okay. Um. Ow. What happened? I tried to open it. No, I got it. I am a strong, independent woman. Well, that just... you opened the other one. Okay, but you opened the other can. Doesn't matter. Let me you open my. You can still have the first sip. I just I'm an I'm an ind- I'm a I'm, strong. Okay, we'll do it in the mic. Let's get some ASMR. Strong independent. Sorry, say what you are. Can you the, hold it up for me? You're a strong, independent woman. Can you hold the mic up? Oh, right. Okay, here we go. And ASMR achieved. I just wanted, uh, you know. Support hand on the Now sip ASMR style. Wait, I'm supposed to get the first sip. Then I, you're the one who's <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> I went to sip the mic. <laughs> that sucked. Did it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Alright. And Sarah Beth Allen is stepping up to the plate to do the ASMR challenge. You were speaking during it. Sorry. I'll wait. <laughs> wait, it went down the wrong side for a second. <laughs> so it's coughing into the mic. <laughs> This one was so perfect, and you had to fucking talk over it. And now I'm, now I'm trying too hard. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, that first one. I give it a seven point six. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna drink the whole damn fucking tall boy. That's the point. Which one's mine? I thought you were, you said you wanted the pineapple. I just wanted a damn sip of it. Okay, damn. You had the intentions of giving me this one. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm appreciative. I like this flavor. Mm-hmm. And then I just let you know that my favorite was half and half because I had a feeling that you thought that raspberry was my favorite, and you were I, right. You I did think it was, and it's a close second. Uh huh. That is fascinating. Tell us more about... Mm. I heard that. I heard that. That one was good. That one was good. Welcome. Uh. Welcome to Drink Champs. Um, the podcast all about drinking with champs. Um, 
Just kidding. Welcome to the village, people. That some is the lore. sound. Some, huh? Some. I was going to say some lore is that every episode we drink to eat. Um, not every episode. Most episodes. It has been most episodes, my bro. I believe this is what this is our seventh episode since we've been back. At least five have been twee related. We didn't do twees with Duke. Twee rated, twee we didn't do twees. I didn't do twees on the one where I was by myself. We didn't do twees on the one we did on the phone. So. I forgot about the one we did. Okay, like the ones that. So over half. Thank you. Thank you. Over half. But anyways, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing this, we're doing the, the classic, the classic move where you be, you do a podcast so that you can become an alcoholic, um, because it's nerve wracking to speak on mic. So we, obviously you have to start a, a new habit, um, where you have to be, your blood alcohol content has to be a certain level before you can do a podcast. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I personally like to get. Crossfaded. And 50 episodes later, it's just um, no one's listening, and you're just drunk at noon on a Wednesday. It's actually midnight, so... Well, I'm... Yes. So, welcome... Yeah, welcome to the Village People. Mm, Friday, April 19th? Correct. 420 is Saturday. 420 is eminent. Jamie, pass the chillum. Um, I don't believe we have a single drop of weed. <clears throat> okay, so... Someone's in the kitchen with Gina. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Oh, oh, oh. Someone's in the kitchen with Gina. A jerking off old man Joe. Okay, so. <clears throat> Alright, let me see if I can get this going. So, um, you, you ready? Yes. So, was it maybe two days ago? Two, two three days ago? At work, um, I'm told to help a customer, and I approach said customer. I look said customer dead in the eye. I make I, I hold I hold I hold I hold position. I lock in. I hold true, and I say, "How may I help you?" And she's like, "Yeah, I've got a, uh, I've got a pickup for Skyly." Sorry, what? Ma'am? What did you say? Kylie? She said, I have a pickup for Skylie. And now, for those who don't know, me and Sarah, genetically. Uh What? Huh? What? Sorry, continue. We genetically um, have resting bitch face syndrome. So, obviously... I'm approaching this quote unquote woman. And I say that because no adult could be named the, the Skyly. Um, not because of any sort of denying of her gender reasons. Um, so I approach this, this woman with the blankest of faces. This teenager. Possibly. I, I mean, yeah. It's a teenager have, name. It could have. Again, no grown person could be named this. So your you are right to think so mm-hmm. um so i approached this tween um what could only be a tween with the blankest of faces and now they're um to uh, sort of i want to sort of paint a, a picture here there there's this uh there's this moment in batman death in the family where uh jason todd walks into a diner where uh, a retired incognito uh, Joker is having coffee. And Batman is dead. Joker's no longer the Joker. And um, anyways, they're having a conversation. And um, 
basically the moment when Joker, uh, who he's, I mean, he's depressed because he's no longer the Joker. Batman's daddy has got no purpose. Um, he tells Jason a joke that he used to tell Batman. No one laughs. So he and he's expressing how you know he's de- he's be- he's he's depressed because Batman's gone and he used to laugh at his jokes, which is not really true. He laughed at this joke once, but <clears throat> um, basically, when Jason starts talking to him again, um, it dawns on Joker that he is talking to Jason Todd, Robin, and as. As it dawns on him, his face goes from completely expressionless to elated. And he goes, boy wonder? And that was basically the evolution of my face when I heard this dumbass bitch's name. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It gave me life. Um, I, I, I had to... I had to turn around and go find her pizza so that I could not laugh in front of her face (laughs) because, Oh my God, you are not a real person. (laughs) Skyly S K Y L E I G H. Stop it. That's not what I No, I was just thinking S K Y L I E. Nope. That's worse. Skyly. 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 Um. <clears throat> it's horrendous. It's it's fucking. It it is it's horrendous. It's putrid. It's filthy. It's cringe. It's all that, and more. Um. Do you have any other tragic name stories? Amber Lee. Amber Lee. I mean, that's, that's kind of the. I don't know. That's the first one. I who's Amber Lee? I don't know. It's just one I came up with in my fucking head right now. Oh. <clears throat> but like real life. Oh, I know there's a bitch named Amber Lee. I just haven't had the privilege of meeting her. Right, but like in your real life. Um, I mean, I went to high school with a girl who got pregnant in junior year and named her child Lyric. Hmm? Lyric? <laughs> maybe, As in like... Or maybe it was Lyrica. Words in a song. Yeah. Lyrica? Lyrica. And she named her, her son Rap Genius? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I think about... I No, I actually don't think about her a lot. But I did think about her a lot back then because at the time of her pregnancy, she was dating a trans man. And Shout as a, as a seventeen year old, I was just like I I was with it, but I was like so confused. I was mm-hmm. like, "What the fuck? It's a baby daddy." I was like, "How is this girl getting so much dick?" <laughs> and I can't. That's what I was saying at seventeen. Oh, yeah. um, I was just really baffled. Um, dick in many forms. Dick in many forms. Well, yeah, because she was dating a trans man. Dick in many forms. Like, dick comes in many forms, is what you're saying? Yes, like, she got dick in many forms. Oh, she got dick in well, many forms. Well, because clearly she fucked a cis man to in order to get, get pregnant. pregnant. Right. And then shortly after fucking the cis man, she had a committed relationship with a trans man for, like, her entire pregnancy. And... Dude, like he was... He was like, this is my daughter. That's the other thing. He was like, this is my daughter. This is my, like, so, like. So the father that stepped up. Yes, but (laughs) I'm just like, but you're not. Yeah. Well, okay, okay. You bring up a funny thing. Because one of the biggest things that has, that keeps popping into my head when I'm watching Handmaid's Tale. Mm -hmm. Is how adoption is fake. So, like, basically, basically, right? Follow me, follow me. Uh So, like. The trads, the cons, the the, the 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 conservatives, you know, they like they like to pretend that they're all about you know facts and logic, and not fifis. However, however, I think that, and this is a very limited 
the use response. But if someone's ever trying to be like, you know, trying to like, you know, deny someone's gender or something, you know, you could be like, well, dude, your kid's not yours. That's literally not your kid. That's someone else's kid. It's not your fucking kid. Well, because I mean, these these women in Handmaid's Tale are so delusional. Yeah. Uh, with like you know giving fake birth and all this bullshit. Dude, that shit's so crazy. But um, I wonder if, if <laughs> you were saying you know how how they were really um stepping up, and you know there's there's always that like that like joke you know where you're, you know the woman gives birth. Or the birthing person gives birth, and um, and it comes out like the wrong color, and the dad's like, "What?" You know, mm-hmm. but like, <laughs> what if what if it was like the baby came out the wrong gender, and then her the adopted dad was like, "Hey, wait a second, you fucked a cis person <laughs> or something." Imagine that's how things work. That's yeah. Crazy. Imagine. 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 Imagine dragons. Thunder. Here's the thunder. Here we go. Repeating jokes. And we're really running dry. <laughs> um, I'm seeing here that someone has spelled Jordan, J O H. R D Y Y N E. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, apparently. No, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, new, mm-hmm. new way to spell Jordan. Mm-hmm. G- Just dropped. G I A R D A N. Sorry, wait. New way to spell Jordan. Just dropped. What? G-I-A-R-D-A-N. Giardin. Giardellis. Giardano. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I was going for. Sorry. G- Jardinera? G- Jordan spelled G- Jardinera? G-I-O-R. G-I-O-R. Giordan. 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 Jordan, like that Pokemon, Jordan. Geo, dude. No, I think it's. I think the one I'm thinking of is Riordan. My Jordan, favorite right? Pokemon, Jardinair. Riordan. <laughs> Rhydon. <laughs> no. Rihanna. No, Ridordan or My something. My favorite Ridor- Pokemon, Rihanna. Rihanna. Rorge. Riordan. Riordan. <laughs> There's an author. My favorite. James Ridor. <laughs> James Rorden? James? James Patterson? No. The guy whose chapters are one page? No. <laughs> Is he really? Dude, James Patterson books are a chapter a page. I swear to fucking God, every page is a chapter in James Patterson verse. Because, like, the stupidest, ah, the stupidest, most Jordan. vapid kids in school, but, like, the oh, stupid, God. vapid kids who got straight A's, but, like, were just empty shells those kids loved reading james patterson which of which makes sense because those are the only books that have commercials so of course they were you know what is it, what is it? um subject i was thinking of advertising. rick rick riordan Sub- the rick. author the author of the percy jackson books but I was really thrown off because I looked up James Riordan, and it was another author. Oh, okay. But also, Rihanna. Ch- like up children's books. But no, it's Rick. Rihanna. Well, that's awesome. Um, apparently, some people name their kids after their couple name. Their couple name? Yeah, like right here is... Like combining their names together? Mm-hmm. That's atrocious. I say that too much. I'm sorry. But it's like I some things are just really atrocious. Like this is... See, this is... I cannot read this without thinking Travis Kelsey. 
it's K it's K E L Vice. Kelvice. 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 Travis Kelvice. And that's supposed to be Alicia and Kelvin. Kelvice? Oh yes. god. You want your fucking child to be named after Ceviche? Um most unfortunate it's X backwards Damn. name? Huh? No. No. Some people name their kids their own name but backwards. Dude, some people name their kids their own name. (laughs) (laughs) Guys, me the sequel just dropped. (laughs) I love thinking of, of Mark and his children. His twins that he had before Mal, because it's so like Mark and Markia, like <laughs> right, Mark and Markia, Dude, oh. what? <laughs> genius, genius. Wait, I know that I've seen stuff like that before, like where a whole someone's whole fucking litter is named after them. Um, naming all your kids after yourself no yeah that didn't really come up with anything it's just a bunch of people saying it's narcissistic to name someone after you um But yeah, like this is like this is Trebor. Trebor. Trebor, like Trevor, but with a B, and it's because their father was named Robert. Okay, Zabor. Hmm. Me, Zabor. I would literally just be Trebor. What are you talking about? I would be this guy. Yeah, but your name is. Right, but 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 newsflash, dumbass. My name wouldn't be my name. Huh? Why not? Because my <laughs> I can't. Because my name would be Trevor. I would have never been named Zach. Oh. <laughs> oh. Why did I think he wanted to name his child Trevor? <laughs> And also, but also his name was Robert, so he he combined them, and I was like, "That's not really oh my combining." God. But no, I realized. You're okay, so dumb. No. Trevor was just the example, so you understand how it's supposed to be pronounced. I get it now. Robert spelled backwards. Yeah, it's Robert spelled backwards. You're looking at the computer screen. I'm not. That's true. I'm just thinking T R E B O R. Okay, this is not. This is categorized well, as actually... most unfortunate first middle yes. combo, but I disagree. This yeah. is actually a fire name, and it's Annie. <laughs> what? No, because I just thought. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ASMR. <laughs> no, I'm choking a little. Ooh, choking ASMR. Oh, the cookie dust. The cookie dust. And the chicken strips, and the cookie I literally bust. just spelled Robert backwards and didn't realize it spelled Robert backwards. I was like, oh, I was thinking like it was spelled like, like T R E B. Okay, let me let me see if I can follow you. You realized that it was spelled backwards. No, I was stating that I thought how how I thought it was spelled differently. Oh right, like Trevor. That's and why Robert. I was confused. And then you but realized. then I spelled it out how I thought it was, and realized that is just Robert Bangor. Oh my god. Anyways, Annie Graham. I think that's dope. Cause here's the thing. The kids who would pick on you are too stupid. Mm-hmm. By the time they know what an anagram is, they're not making fun of you. It's not funny. 
Yeah. And even if they knew what the word is, it's not like it's it, it just doesn't sound funny. Like it's like it's no Robert Teets, you know. It's no booby teats. I could do it. No, please chew. Into the mic. I was putting it away. No, I'm demanding you put it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so anyways, I went to school with a guy named Robert Teets. I had a customer named Dick Hertz. (sighs) Shut the fuck up, dude. No way. (laughs) Legal first name Dick. My Dick Hertz. (laughs) Mommy, my dick hurts. And we also had a Robert Creamer. <laughs> Robert Creamer? <laughs> or Robert Kramer? Creamer. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why would I give a fuck about a Robert Kramer? <laughs> okay, just... well, follow me for a second. <laughs> first of all, oh, first... Kramer well, yeah, time. first of all, yeah, Love anyone him. named anyone named Kramer is going to be, is going to have, you know, some 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 cachet but no no <laughs> follow me okay first i thought you said robert cremo <laughs> <laughs> i knew you thought that too i knew that uh, the highland park shooter <laughs> but then i heard kramer and thought that you were <laughs> see we are really the same person because you were just saying you were just confused about the name robert spelled backwards being trebor and then realized <laughs> oh it's spelled ba- it's robert spelled backwards and now, and, we're on the and, robert now and now i and now me i heard robert cremo realized you said robert kramer and went oh that's why it's funny because it's so close to robert cremo <laughs> And then I'm like, maybe she said creamer. But when I said that, I thought that I was being silly. <laughs> but for sure, it was Robert Kramer. Robert mm-hmm. Kramer and Dick Hurts. Jesus. Imagine having that on your fucking ID. Mom, my Dick Hurts. Like, not even Richard Hurts. Like, was your it like legal Hertz? name was, was Dick. Was it Hurts? Like, like H U R T Z type of Hurts? Oh. Mm-hmm. No relation? Two. The company. Oh, that's H E R T Z. Oh. Nah, really, his dick hurt. <laughs> dick hurts because I ran, got run over by a rental car from Hertz. Like um, that's crazy. Yeah. <coughs> and shout out booby teats. Um, <coughs> I always remember people making fun of him for having two dads, and um, I don't even know if that was true, but. Hey, man, if it was, that's pretty based. But I mean, with a last name like Teats. They were like, let's, tr-. they're like, honey, we we don't want him to get made fun of. Let's, let's make sure that they know that he likes girls. <laughs> we'll name him Boobs. Booby Boobs. Booby Teats. Booby Teats. And he ran like Naruto. Oh my God. I don't even know the the, the name. The pacer test is about to begin. Because I feel like just everybody in my high school just fucking did that shit. Well, I'm sure it was way more prevalent when you were in high school than when I was. Well, I was thinking more middle school, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean Naruto was more my time. But I, I mean, I'm sure your your yeah, but it came back. Your you know. well, I mean, it has never gone away. There's like well, yeah. there's like three different series. But all I'm saying is that no, like I'm... a higher percentage of your class is into anime than mine. I also just meant like I feel like the Naruto run was like the Narutoids. Um, like Vine famous or some shit. I don't know. Like there was, I feel like a viral. Oh vine. yeah, no, yeah, the running. Yeah, the running, so... the running with the who. Oh! Yeah, sound. so like people just started doing it, even yeah. if they didn't fucking uh, watch that shit. No, you're a hundred percent right. That's yep. I feel like why it kind of came yeah. back. Mm-hmm. Wow. Boomerang, it's all coming back to you. Um. Oh, someone made a. Okay, here's some celebrity bad some some celebrity bad baby names. Obviously, we got Northwest. Apple. But yeah, Apple. What is it? What Apple? Paltrow's. Well, I don't know the actual last name, but I believe it's Gwyneth Paltrow's daughter. Yeah, Apple. Apple Paltrow. <laughs> apple bottom apple. jeans. <laughs> oh my god! 
So, okay, so in this list of bad celebrity names, this person, because they instead of typing out the name, they said whatever that password Elon Musk named his kid. Oh, uh, yeah. But he didn't say Elon Musk. He said elongated muskrat. So yeah, it was really that's hard to full, read. That's his no, full it's legal not. name. Shut up. No, it's not. That's his full legal no, name it's not. on the internet. It's that's Elonious. His it's, it's, it's Elonious Monk. It's Elonious Musk Monk. Musk monk. Okay, he has many names. No, but the elongated muskrat. I always liked uh, Ellen Musk. Ellen Musk. <laughs> um, Elon Musk. But yeah, it was like A A E X something. And it's like twelve. Yeah, and it's and it's supposed to be pro- twelve. It's Ash Ash. It's pronounced Ash. Um, Why did you say that? Why not just... Okay, I don't know who the fuck Jessa Duggar. Oh, what? Sorry. What did you say? That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know who this bitch is. I don't know who this Jessa Duggar. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Jessa Duggar, one of the Duggars, um, named their kid Spurgeon. Spurgeon? Spurgeon. 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 Like a sperm surgeon? Spurgeon on my burn. Spurgeon on my burgeoning breasts. (laughs) Spurgeon on my Duggar. He's Spurgeon on my (laughs) Duggar till I bust. He's Spurgeon on my Duggar to let Jessa. (laughs) Jessa? Jessa? (laughs) She's Spurgeon on my Jessa. She's Spurgeon on on my Jessa till I Duggar. No, she's. She's Spurgeon on my Duggar till I Jessa. Yeah. Sorry. PSA: Don't, don't be evangelists. Your kid'll. Touch your other kid. Download a bunch of chat porn. Um, don't let kids touch kids. Wait. <laughs> well, don't let them. Man, do that. it's 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 kids. <laughs> it's kids raping kids out here. <laughs> no. Instead of kids raising kids. <laughs> Speaking of, it's um, raising how you can't touch kids. We were watching. <laughs> Speaking of that dumbass rule. <laughs> no, I'm just speaking about the fact uh, that you can't touch kids. The common fact. <laughs> the common fact that it is physically impossible <laughs> to touch a child. We were watching The Curse last night. Mm-hmm. And he was chasing oh those my little girls down God. the street trying little to get Little girls, money. little girls, stop! <laughs> <laughs> God, do yourself a favor, guys. Watch I the curse on Showtime. Oh my God, dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like that. I love Nathan Just Fielder, but there's sprinting. nobody. There's nobody that could make me want to turn away from a TV screen more. <laughs> uh, actually, actually, actually. Yeah, I could come up with some impractical joke. Oh my God. They need Joe. a collab. I wouldn't be surprised if he was in an episode. Yeah, well. But, but I'll continue researching. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um watching every single my research of watching every single episode <laughs> of the Practical <laughs> Jokers ever. <laughs> um running after Oh yeah. Yeah, Nathan Fielder just Captain America sprinting after two black kids. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Stop in the name of Allah. Just like a list of things you can't like just I was just yelling at the screen, just like you can't can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. Nathan hey, stop. Um you can't do that. You can't do that. Um Elongated Muskrat Spurgeon. Um Bronx Mowgli. Bronx. 
You from the BX? No, I, it better be spelled B R O N K or B R O N. It better be spelled Gronk. <laughs> Gaby Bronx. Um, don't know who the parents of Bronx Mowgli are, but obviously, Mister and Mrs. Mowgli. Yes, from the Jungle Book. Exactly. Legendary Love Cannon. That's a name. Mm-hmm. No. No. Is that Kill Cannon's cousin? Mm-mm. Wait, who's Kill Can? <laughs> that reminds me. Uh, <laughs> correction. Uh, update. Uh, two episodes ago, I wondered if Phil Lamar was in Invincible. He is. He is. Um. Not not Duncan, but. Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts? He exists. Lucan. He's Lucan in Invincible. Anyways. No, it's... Stop it. No more it's ASMR. Hard. No more ASMR. Stop. Um, <laughs> um, no, it's Nick Can... It's one of Nick Cannon's litter. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. Legendary love canon. No. Yep. Name is legendary. Sounds like a nickname a dude would give his dick is what this guy said. <sighs> okay. Well, yeah, with a last name like Cannon, it's kind of hard to not make it Hugo Cannon. Hugo Cannon? Hugo Cannon! Huge Cannon. Oh, that's pretty cool. No, Bronx Mowgli. We have we have confirmation of who Bronx Mowgli's parents are. Their full name. I didn't know I could do that. I could turn off stealth mode with the button. Oh wow! Oh, it also tells me the battery level. That's handy dandy notebook. But Anyways, Bronx Mowgli's full name is Bronx. Mo- oh my God! I'm sorry, but I I can't explain why it's worse. But it is. It it has to be worse that it is these two people, these two extremely white people, Bronx Mowgli Simpson Wentz. Oh, wow. One of the Simpsons and... Uh, Are white people even from the Bronx? Marissa. No, I'm kidding. What? Speaking of Marissa, we... This is a PSA. I'm, I'm manifesting my destiny right now. We... Our next guest must be Marissa's mom. We need more comedians on the podcast. Stop. Stop. Yes. Stop it. Miss uh, Martinez. No. Miss Baxter. No. Mm. You were on the right track with them. Mm-hmm. Mowgli. No. Marissa oh, Bronx no. Mowgli. Marissa. Marissa Matheson. Marissa. She is Hispanic. Right. Martinez. No. Malt liquor. Maybach. Also, mm. we don't need to put Marissa's full name on here. Mm. Right. Bleep. But I guess, theoretically, if you would have her mom on, you would know her last name. And two and two could be put together. Okay, continue guessing. Martinez. Oh, that's just Martinez. Um, Mall. Literally somebody I've been friends with for like 12 years. Mall. Okay. Well, first of all, that seems short. I'm only 24. True. Second now, of all... I'm sorry. The way that I just told, told a falsehood, I'm 23. <laughs> um... Mm. 
Marissa Delgado. I, or- <coughs> I already said it started with them. Right, right, right. Uh, Marissa Mintz Plass. Like Christopher Mintz Plass. Is Marissa related to McLovin? Okay. Marissa McChicken. Uh, I got it. I got it. Marissa McChicken. You can't tell me I'm wrong. Marissa McChicken. For those of you who don't know, which is all of you. (laughs) 99.9% of you. Unless the viewer, one of the viewers out there is my phone. Listener. You can view a podcast. Not ours. Audio only, baby. You can view our clips on YouTube. Anyway, hey, hey. Her name is Marissa McChicken in my phone. Mm. Because she was a lover of McChickens before we all went vegetarian. She was a lover. A former lover. Former lover, ex-lover of McChickens. Um, Sex lover. But also, like, we would have stopped eating them anyways because of the McChickens. A former sex lover. (laughs) Former sex lover here. I'm sorry. I said McGenocide. McGenitals. I said, <laughs> even if we didn't go to vegetarian, we would have stopped anyways because of McGenocide. Mm. 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 Oh, because McDonald's like supports Israel or something like that. Conversation, go ahead and subscribe at patreon.com slash TVP pod. Thank you. Um, so Marissa, so the podcast is seven weeks pregnant. <laughs> we are just dating. We are going to have a little Um God no. Um, We're clearly naming it Amberly. Isn't I, Amberly Skyly. that Villagely. No, but isn't Amberly that bitch who um who is trying to lose weight, but um she keeps ordering healthy food and they keep accidentally giving her unhealthy food. I think or, you like, might be right. Oh my god, I ordered order a veggie sandwich. <laughs> god, I love her. I got my uh, dream job. I'm a new. I'm a. I'm a. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, a nutritionist. Di- no, no, it was double. It was two. It was. I'm a dietitian nutritionist. I think was what she said. Which are two different things. Yeah, I'm a dietitian uh, nutritionist. I don't think nutritionists fuck with dietitians. <laughs> it's kind of like a uh, massage therapist and chiropractitioner. No, chiropractors and massage therapists are besties. Oh. Mom, you literally. Oh, used it's to- like doctors and chiropractitioners. Why do you keep calling them chiropractitioners? Well, chiropractors. Well, first of all, you're combining words. First of all, none of it is a word because it's fake. It's not a science. It's not a medical field. It's 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 a fugazi. It's a fugazi. It's a so I can say whatever fucking word I want. Actually, it's funny that you mentioned that because a couple of years ago I got into this with Damien. About how chiro chiropractic or whatever is fake, and he and he was saying chiropractic, chiropractic work or something like that. I'm like, dude, no, there's, yeah. there's no way that is. Nope, that's not a word. It is chiropractic. Sounds Unfortunately, wrong. Unfortunately, I hate to say it. I never think, never ever thought in my entire life that these <laughs> words would come out of my mouth. But Damien is right. Yeah. Well. Damien was right about one thing. Yep. Mm-hmm. God, I will never say that I miss him. But no. sometimes I miss the laughs. the phrases that come out of his mouth. Can you can you conjure any? No. 
because I physically cannot come up with such nonsense. It's 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 so annoying because <laughs> we could do uh, a whole series on that man. Oh my god! If only we could get him on the podcast. <sighs> no, I, know, I bullied I know. him too hard. Um, and honestly, no, to be fair, to be completely like, honest, uh, to be completely honest, if anyone ruined the chances of having Damien on mic, it's Malik, because I told Malik about Damien. Uh, in one of the early episodes, and he just took it too far. He he every fucking time he came in the house, he had to say hi to Damien, which was annoying. But hey, I mean, dude, he just like immediately was like, like egging him on. Yeah, like he's his friend, and he's not. And I'm like, dude, you're fucking this. You're fucking my shit up, dude. You're 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 Dude, you're fucking with my money not, here. He's 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 dumb, but he is not completely stupid. Right. You can't like stand there and make fun of him, make fun of him to ev- to everyone else in the room, and he's not going to notice, which is what Malik would do. So, yeah, spoiled that. But um, you know that's the thing. Like Damien's stupidity was so stress inducing that my brain would erase it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In order to protect myself from the Just like my childhood. From the idiosity. Mm-hmm. From what? Just like your childhood, yes. Um Ugh. Wedgie. I've got to pee. Perfect. I have to pick my fucking wedgie. But yeah, so like doctors look down on chiropractitioners. What? I'm glad I didn't load it. It's at exactly zero percent. Mm. Um. Marissa, what the fuck is Marissa's last name? <laughs> okay, so I was saying like how a doctor looks down on a chiropractologist, a chiro, a, a chiro, a chiropractor, a chiropractor teenager, and then what were we comparing? I don't even. Fucking you were saying know, how dude. someone looks down on something. I don't even know, dude. Uh, okay, well, what's Marissa's last name? Medina. Medina. That is the other Hispanic M last name. Damn it. So, shout out Denise Medina. Denise a Mitochondria. Local, a local comedian. A local comedian. I've never seen her. But she's a riot. Stand up. I've seen her. Yeah, I've never I've, seen her. I've met her many times. Yeah. She's driven me so, around. I've sat in her home. Medina Medina. We I've are. Sat in her home. Well, Denise Medina. What? What's her name? Denise Oh, Denise. Okay. That's I, I thought I was wrong when I said that. Like it sounds too close to Medina. Denise Medina. I didn't see that. Denise Denise. Denise Denise. Medina Medina. Denise Medina. Denise Denise. This is an invitation to the village. Um I wouldn't be surprised if Kayla knows her. Kayla Tangie's godmother? Yes. Why? Because um, Denise has done shows at Kayla's workplace where Kayla bargains. <laughs> That's awesome. But Kayla has worked so many places. You're saying like the place she works right now? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Like, I know where it is. Yeah. Mom did shows there. Yeah. Or, but not shows, but. Yeah. I don't know. I remember. I remember Kayla saying she was working there. She bartends, I believe. There. Yeah, but she hasn't always. No, I know. Oh, okay, okay. Everyone okay, okay. has had multiple. Well, that's not true. Every jizz Most begins with J. Jobs. Um. Goofy names. Were there any more goofy names? There was like a few things that I remember telling you to tell me on the podcast. Do you remember any of them? No. Lovely. <sighs> Oh shit. We got some no, we got some more names. We got some more bad names. Uh 
Hazley. Hazley. Is that Paisley and Haley? Hey, what was it again? Hazley. Sorry. Hazley. H A I S L E I G H. First of all, let's let's since we've this is the second lay name. Any fucking time you you name a girl something Lee that isn't Ashley or Kaylee. Kaylee. Or Haley. Or Haley. Or Lee. Or Bailey. Or Riley. I think we covered the bases there. You are dooming her to a life of trailer park whoredom and low IQ. Why would you do this to your child? Are you evil? You must be. Stop doing this. It's gross. It's Honestly, atrocious. Spelling it's I think I think spelling Lee like L, I mean I don't want to hate on the it. The letter Y exists. Yes, but it's just like who is it? Or even I'm sorry, but even a, a little slutty double E a little slutty double E, it goes a long way. But, like, this E-I-G-H fucking bullshit. Like, get the fuck and, out of here. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm not even one of these people that, like, disagrees that that spelling makes the sound Lee. It does. Yep. It does. It's just dumb and pretentious and well the spelling is pretentious the names aren't because the names are just so low class but yeah yeah it's just but um what uh, anyways this is what i'm talking about this is the fucking bullshit I'm talking about. This good ass deal. Uh huh. So this is a Bluetooth one. This is the exact one that you have. The LP Go. Okay, but it is a Bluetooth one. Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Fucking Muskegon, Michigan. Muskegon. Muskegon. Casey yeah. Musgraves, Michigan. <laughs> yeah, it's um, fucked. But anyways, so Hopkins, Michigan, the. Lightning one. This one's the LP sixty X. Cool. Also in Michigan. It's like, what if I kill this? Uh-oh. I wanna kill my dad. I wanna kill my dad. I wanna oh. kill my mom. I wanna oh. kill my oh. grandma. Hey, East Troy. That's closer. That's like thirty minutes. The audience doesn't even know what is I'm going. I'm sorry. On. I know. I'm sorry, but it's just ugh, this is the LP60X, so mm-hmm. non Bluetooth, but seventy dollars. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, that's I know. awesome. This is more affordable. Yeah. And so go for sixty. Go for it. Okay. So speaking of bad names, um. Bad names for. Didn't we see a bad name for a business earlier today? No, we were discussing. Don't um, say it. Muse. Muse. Muse on Sheridan. Right, the Muse on Sheridan. <laughs> but was that it? Um, speaking of poor names, um, there is this local smoke shop that recently became a smoke chain called cloud nine and um so they opened up cloud nine too um but they like roman numerals they like roman numerals yes they like roman nubiles they like roman numerals (sighs) 
So close your eyes, listener. Dear listener, since Sarah already spoiled it. Okay. Close your eyes and imagine what that would look like. Cloud nine. Yep. It's a smoke shop called Cloud 911. Cloud 9, Roman numeral 2. Cloud 911. And I believe it's not even like, there's not even the top and bottom lines, right? Or there is. There is. They're there is. slight. They're very slight. Yeah. Cloud 911. So unfortunate. No. For them. Yeah. For the world. It's there's also it's been laid on a beautiful piece of art. There's a local um, mechanic question mark mm-hmm. that they have these really fun signs out front that say "Come see our tips." I like it. And the other side says, "Come get your tranny fix." Nope. The other side. The other side says no muff too tough. <laughs> I like yeah yeah I like that one. I really like comes here. I tips. saw uh like a, a meme today a, or a tweet a tweet or a thread or something. <sighs> J.K. Rowling at a mechanic shop, and it was like my my automatic my what <laughs> my automatic what mission. <laughs> I reposted something um, on my story about how JK, JK just was, getting rolling, was uh, using they them pronouns for her pet. Oh yeah. And everyone was like, she supports trans people now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you really swindled her, guys. You got her because she has no idea. She has no idea. Idiot. Well, she she is a fucking idiot. She did a whole interview uh recently um posing as president who was it right oh my god okay yeah so jk rowling uh was pranked (laughs) um i don't know by who but she thought she was being interviewed by president Zelensky of ukraine Mm-hmm. What an idiot. You are sending the money that Loomis has ca- collected. The fact is that we are really like modern uh, weapons. We want to buy a lot of weapons and missiles with your money to destroy Russian troops. I hope you are uh, all of for it. So. <laughs> I think that, uh, yeah, well, we'll look after the kids, but I'm, I really want Ukraine to have all the arms it needs. And we will deal with refugees and children after the Russian leave our land. You must understand yeah. that the weapons are more important now, but we cannot advertise it. I can say it. I can say in the press that we, the money was spent on children, children, and the, I, yeah. And we will yeah, buy and low missiles with them in the UK. So let's do that. Okay, I understand completely. And by the way, I ordered that our fighters write uh, Ab- 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 Kedavra. Avada on... Kedavra. Yeah, yeah. On exactly. The, on the missiles that we will launch at Donetsk and Lugansk. So how do you like this joke? I love the joke. I love the joke. Can you play it again? No. And not because you weren't listening. I was. I just assumed because you asked me to play it again. I just want to hear it. Well, I'm going to... Really absorb it. I, I'm just, I was going to play a better... Oh, yes, 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 do so. February, no, that's obviously not going to be it. Switch account. Switch account. Right. History. History. History will repeat itself, Mr. Potter. Here we go. <laughs> uh, Bri, the- Unfortunately, <laughs> I have to skip around. Um, you're part of Europe in that in that respect. I think if you're, Ukraine sets the example going forward, that would be a wonderful thing. 
I wanted to talk um, uh, with you about the cancellation culture of Russia now. It's uh, loud. Else do you think the whole civilized world can do to put pressure on them? I know that in Russia you have banned local publishers for f from publishing your books, as I know, of course. Um, I think that uh, I, I'm not sure that story is accurate. I think that there, although that has been reported, uh, but we we are currently not proceeding in Russia ourselves mm -hmm. because um, out of solidarity with Ukraine, um, I'm not proceeding with certain um, business interests in Russia. Um, so, in fact, it would be me not wanting to be affiliated with Russia mm -hmm. rather than the other way around. <laughs> Because it's they did not deserve it. This fucking prank call is old. But yeah, dumb bitch alert. <laughs> um Right, the so okay, back to uh <clears throat> So right, Cloud nine eleven. Cloud nine eleven. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Mm -hmm. Cloud nine eleven. You know, we, uh, before the show, we were getting our customary twisted teas. I went to the liquor store. Guy behind the counter. Fat, white, thumb. Handlebar mustache. Gives me my drinks. Hand him his money. He hands me my change. We part ways. Then I go to the gas station to get celebration cookies for the dearly departed boy. Cowboy, I love him. We love him. He's 18 today. Everyone's um, he is sitting. Die. He is sitting in his urn with a cowboy hat on next to Sarah right now. Yeah. He is off mic, but in our hearts. Um, and on top of it. Ugh. Then I go to the gas station. Guy behind the counter, fat, white, thumb, handlebar mustache. But there's something different about this one. He's got a 9-11 tattoo on his bicep. So. Everything is connected, therefore. So, obviously, I played Duke Ferguson's uh, hit song, uh, Nine Ten. I think is what it's called. Man, last week's episode was so funny, guys. Go listen to that. Uh, and, you know... They can't all be winners, you know? They just... Sometimes... We're just EB. And, um... Listen. Six fantastic weeks of podcasts. More great episodes ahead. This one, we're just... We're just kind of chilling, you know? Sometimes the pressure gets to us. Um... Sometimes... We sit around all day not podcasting and then decide to podcast at 11.30. Yeah, I don't know what that was fucking about. We had all damn day. Well, I just, you know, anxiety. You know, procrastination. Bitches got anxiety. Also, I so, just... It, I'm a bitches got anxiety. Yes, thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, Sorry, we've been listening a little bit of uh, poor, too much poor Douglas lately, and not enough of Duke Ferguson. Mm. Too much Douglas, not enough Ferg. Sarah, do your fucking job. Go subscribe to the Patreon. Go subscribe. Go subscribe. Patreon. Subscribe. Put this episode on every week. Subscribe Not to right the now, Patreon. but starting very soon. As soon as we get a subscriber. Subscribe to the Subscribe to Patreon. Subscribe. Subscribe to the Patreon. Which is uh, patreon.com backslash TV. Backsplash. Backsplash. Back, backsplash TVP pod. Backsplash TVP pod. TVP pod. TVP pod. TVP pod. TVP pod. TVP for my bunghole. TV pod. Um, TV pod for TV pod for pussy. TV for pussy. The village pussy pod. TV pod for pussy. Patreon pussy. TV pod for pussy. Pussy and bio. Pussy and bio. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. Uh, we'll see you guys next week.
TV <laughs>